the days of wine and roses. Boy, you never know where you're going to find inspiration. You just never can tell. Hang on, let me turn off my metrodome. So I'm watching uh, the uh, season premiere of Better Call Saul. Probably my favorite show on TV. Um, and here's the opening. I thought it was Bobby Hackett, but it was a uh, cat I'm not very familiar with. Pee Wee Irwin, who was a, you know, sort of in the same vein as Bobby Hackett. That beautiful, uh, beautiful sound. Perfect phrasing. Just, just gorgeous. And that was the opening music, The Days of Wine and Roses, over the top of the uh, the opening of Better Call Saul. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So, uh, you know, using that as inspiration, I got the coronet out. My uh, ACB Doubler's Coronet, Austin Custom Brass. Doubler's Coronet, man. It's a steal for what they're selling these for. Great horn. So, anyway, got the coronet out in honor of uh, Bobby Hackett, who, of course, was... Uh, played cornet always and uh Pee Wee Irwin um, there's so many of these cats um Warren Vache Jim Cullum was a wonderful cornetist those are the first guys I ever listened to was uh, the trad jazz players my original inspiration was Bill Mason and he's still going man uh Bill's in his 90s and he called the other day we chat very frequently um anyway that was my first inspiration uh, to play the horn was cornet players and um <clears throat> i uh, just adore the cornet love playing it and i adore the cornet players like bobby and Wee and these guys it's just such beautiful music uh big series of records very popular in the i guess early 60s uh it was jackie gleason had his name on those i don't think he had other involved any other involvement other than probably writing the checks i guess but he had this huge string section, and Bobby, um, or uh, Pee Wee Irwin, in that case, on uh, playing with a big string section, playing just trumpet and strings, cornet and strings, excuse me. I just, I am a sucker for that. I just have such a soft spot for that style of record. And um, anyway, I've also been um, working on some breathing exercises. Bobby Shue, been talking to the man himself, Bobby has got me with just laid all sorts of cool info on me about his breathing system. I've been working on some stuff and mostly working on playing very long phrases, right? Getting my air to work for a long, long phrase, right? It's a good skill to work on. Um, and like I do frequently, I'm doing it with music. I love, you know, I'm still working on all tunes and I'm constantly having to keep those fresh. I feel, I don't feel like that's a good thing. So, so anyway, so I've been working on some of this breathing stuff. You might know it as like the yoga breath or the wedge breathing. That's how Bob what Bobby, uh, calls it and very hip stuff. It's got me really thinking hard about just the whole mechanism of breathing, the mechanics of breathing. So you never stop learning. You know, we never stop learning. Like I say, it's like, you never know where inspiration's going to come from, you know, uh, watching a TV show. I was totally inspired to get my cornet out and play. Um, been, like I say, talking to Bobby, talking all this breathing stuff. And, you know, you just really never stop learning. You know, well, you shouldn't. Never stop learning. Um, so, what I've been doing, let's try another tune. Um, I said, I've got a metronome going here. Uh, quarter note is 60. It's a nice round number. It's pretty, kind of slow for a lot of tunes. That's pretty slow. But it forces you to get your air to work for over a long haul, right? Um, again, good skill to have, right? Good skill to work on. Um, and you'll feel, you know, if you're doing it right, you'll feel the some tension in the your, your abdomen is what's really has to kind of drive in the bus here. Um, so let's take another tune. Um... Uh, how about in a sentimental mood? Okay.
Bessie's not happy um, with me, of course, as usual. Hopefully you can hear the metronome on this. Do this, if you're gonna do this, do it with a metronome. Do yourself a favor, always practice with the metronome often as you can, because you know, time, you know, the, as I've said before, the right note at the wrong place is the wrong note. Um, you know, time is what it's all about. Uh, you have to play good time, no matter what the hell music you're playing. If you're playing in a symphony orchestra, in a big band, in a combo, whatever, you have to play time. Um, you have to be able to play with good time. So you have to have a really strong clock. Um, you know, we've all heard the phrase, uh, all chops, no clock. Well, yeah, that's a real thing, a very real thing. So do this with a metronome, please. Just there's a jillion free one app, metronome apps, tuner apps. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff out there. Um, no excuse anymore to not have a metronome on you. Uh, so I set a quarter note to 60 and try to play as long of a phrase that makes that makes musical sense, right? Um, so let's try one more, okay? Again, let's... So, again, quarter note 60. Um, there'll never be another U. Normally played real fast, but let's try it as a ballad. Definitely moving some air. Feels good. Keeping things, you know, keeping the air moving. That's is just as much of a part of practicing for me as anything else. It's just working on air, okay? Making sure the air is working right. And like I like to do, combining it with other stuff. Not, you know, working on tunes. Working on long phrases. Um, so anyway, um, hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for watching, and go watch go Better Call Saul. If nothing else, for the opening three minutes of uh, hearing some great Pee Wee Irwin with strings. All right. Have a great weekend. See you soon.